Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that hurt. Hey, everyone. Mike here, Rusty Garage and Homestead. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are finally gonna take the big tractor and the 13 foot disc, and we're gonna start disking so we can get this wheat planted. It's about 1400 in the afternoon, and I've got several acres to get done. I will probably try to send the drone up here in a little bit. I think I've got, there's three pastures right here by the house that I'm gonna do, and then I'll go out by the cemetery. The cows will be on that part of the pasture though, and then we'll move to the north end if we have time tonight. So, let's get to it. dusty. Almost done with this little patch. This ain't too large, but we keep the cows off of it during the winter time. So we just as well plant it. I could probably go faster. But I think I'm going to enjoy Disking in the seed versus dragging it. I think I'm going to eat a whole lot less dust. Thank the good Lord for cap tractors. Got a few rocks on that spot. I said it should be about 100 pounds or so up here, maybe 150, somewhere in there. Dad is broadcasting right now. That little broadcaster holds around 50 pounds, a little less. So that's kind of how we judge everything on it. Okay, well. He's got this front field covered, so let's go ahead and cover it up. So I know these fields, some of these still have a good bit of thick grass in them. Most of it's dying off, but you don't have to disc where it looks like fresh soil. All we're looking to do is cut up the ground just enough to get that seed to lay down in there. And then I'm going back over it just to cover everything back up. That's all you need. You don't have to disc it to death where it's just bare soil if I was to disc some of these hillsides where it was just bare soil and we was to get a pretty good downpour you cut all your roots and your your grass and everything out of there so you're gonna end up getting some washouts and gullies from over disking there's no sense in over disking and you see some people they they yeah they do it till it looks like it's fresh dirt and each his own, I guess, but you don't really have to. I mean, I'll show you guys here. I'll do some updates on all of this during the uh, the winter, see how it's doing, and then come spring, you guys might be surprised to see how well this stuff looks. About April, this stuff will be probably at least 12 inches tall, 12 to 18 inches tall. So it does a good job. So he's disking or he's a uh, seeding that second little field. All these little fields up by the house, they are they used to be our weaning lots. They're not real, real huge or anything like that. But we don't feed in here during the winter time, so we just as well plant them. So come springtime, we can turn cows and stuff in on this and just more stuff for them to eat, that's all. Now if I'm taking a wider turn, I don't really mess with picking the disc up. This is actually, the only thing I'm not liking about 
this, from what I can see, is it is cutting it up more than I normally would. So normally, we would run the disc around it, broadcast it all. Sorry, water meter. Went right over the top of it. But normally, I'd run the disc over it once, and then we'd broadcast it, and then I would get a big piece of angle iron, some chain link, cattle panel, whatever I get a hold of, and drag over the top of it, and that's it. That's all you gotta do, it'll grow just fine. But, I was watching my buddy Dustin, at Faithful Farm Adventures. He, uh, he did some planting earlier for his pumpkin patch, I think his maize. And uh, I was talking to him, and he said he normally discs it in instead of dragging it. And so far, I mean, you guys can see how dusty this stuff is. I'm, I'm much rather enjoying being inside the uh, air-conditioned cab than eating all that dust on the four-wheeler. Because after we broadcast everything on the four-wheeler, then you go around again with the drag, and you're just kicking up dust. What I was saying on turning with this disc, I know a lot of people will pick their disc up whenever they turn, and if I'm doing a real sharp turn, I will, but some of these gradual turns, I don't know, I don't, it, it, it makes it a little bit rougher, it kicks a little bit more soil up, but I'm not too worried about it. These turns like this, <coughs> where I've pretty much got it cranked all the way over, I've got it picked up, and once I straighten out, I'll, I'll sink it back in the dirt. So if you guys are enjoying this, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. All that stuff helps these videos, helps the algorithm push the videos out to more people. This is just, this is something we do every year. I've never filmed it. I was kind of wishing I filmed it last year, just because last year I started picking up making more videos. But, I don't know. It, it's neat to see people on YouTube, uh, the differences, how people do things. I mean, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Uh, this isn't the only way to plant stuff. I, I'd prefer to have a no-till drill, but those dudes are expensive. So, the old 13-foot disc, this tractor, four-wheeler. That's all I've used for years and years. Used to, all I planted around here was uh, deer plots for whenever I hunted, but I don't hunt here anymore. My son's starting to, so probably tomorrow I'm going to get back in the timber, and we are going to... Uh, disc up a spot back in the timber where we've been doing some wheat and I've got some some different uh, food plot mixtures with some uh, brassicas and oats and uh, turnips different things like that that we'll plant and some rye winter rye so we'll see how it does something different and if it's still there in the uh, springtime then I guess the cows will eat it okay I don't see him here in the second field I did so, I guess I'll go ahead and... Oh, I do not like rocks. That's almost as bad as nails on a chalkboard taking a disc over some rocks. I can't see them, they're right under the ground. I don't know exactly how big they are, but that whole little section of that hillside's always got rocks in it. And I don't know if I bring anything too crazy in here to rip up the dirt. I'm gonna have a pile of rocks. I would like to get a skeleton bucket because there's a few places around here that have uh, a good bit of rocks that I would like to get cut out of here or picked up out. Oh, a lot of turning over here by the corral. But this field right here, this thing's got thick grass in it. A lot of it is dying. So, it's fine. The weed will grow. It'll be here through the winter time and the spring to early summer. That's about when it'll die off and the cows will get their bellies full of it. Then the grass and the weeds will start growing back. I'm going to try to do a little better job of staying on top of the spraying next year. I've said that the past few years, but it never fails. Get going, start out strong, and then get busy with work or hay season or other things and 
it uh some of the stuff falls to the wayside maybe he wasn't done he's right out in front of me spreading it's okay i'll follow him now i think if i had one of those large chain harrows like a 20 footer or something like that i would probably use that instead of disking it in just because i know using a drag over this stuff works great and there's no issue with it and that would keep me from cutting it up so bad because there is some of this that i've since i'm going it over a couple times it's it's cutting in pretty hard but it'll be okay i'm not totally destroying all the roots in the soil or making it loose enough to wash out if we get a big rain I'm not sure how much we'll get done today I'm for sure gonna make it over by the cemetery and the barn and get that done then we'll just see how uh, how much Sun we got left I may start moving the barrels and everything up to that north pasture take tiny carry them up there so all that stuff staged maybe do it tomorrow or I might do it this evening I don't know yet I need to get it in the ground it is it's September 29th so one more day September be over now the way we always plant I don't necessarily have a specific date that I plant by uh, I base it off the weather when the mornings start getting uh, cool and the evenings get kind of warm that's when it's time to plant and that's normally mid to late September somewhere in there in my region you can plant clear into October it's gonna be just fine but I was told a long time ago to plant when the mornings are cool and the evenings are warm so that's the way I've kind of always based everything and it's worked out just fine for me I'm sure your regions are probably a little different I'm sure there's some places up north they probably planted their wheat over a month ago where I'm at is considered the south and it stays pretty hot a good portion of the year but it does turn off pretty cold too a lot of people don't realize Oklahoma can get as cold as it does but there's been uh, several occasions I can remember like minus 10 minus 16 uh, I think one year we even had like minus 32 that's the lowest I've ever ever seen it out here and uh, yeah I don't know how you folks do it up north that, that kind of weather ain't for me. That is way too, uh, <laughs> that's way too brutal. Okay, a couple more swipes and this little field will be done. Then we're gonna move over by the cemetery. I can sure feel the tractor as soon as I pick this disc up out of the ground. It just, it frees up. Then when you sink it in there, you can feel it. Start tugging on it pretty hard. All right, I'm gonna put you all back outside again. We're gonna go down by the cemetery, then down by the barn. Hopefully I fit. Did all that work widening the gate. <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't for nothing.
dad's pretty much got these fields seated, or he's got this one seated. He's working on the one down by the barn. So I'm just disking this one in. When I'm done with this, he'll be done with that one. Then it'll be time to start moving everything to the north pasture. Got a couple different fields up there to do. Uh, four fields, if I'm not mistaken. But one of those four is gonna be food plot. Depending on how we're doing on seed, I may go ahead and do a little bit of wheat in the timber. Once we get to that north end, doing a couple of those fields, I'll go ahead and send a drone up then. Just trying to get these ones done. These are smaller. Total up here that we've planted is probably six acres, somewhere in there. Nothing, nothing too crazy. It's still, I think it's almost 85 degrees today, almost the end of September. This morning, I think it was upper 50s. But we're getting pretty good temperature swings right now. I'll just be glad once we get a little rain on this. Start seeing it germinating. Yep, dad's out by the barn planting that, so I'm almost done here. I'll move down there. Okay, we've almost got everything moved. I'm taking the big tractor down now. Then we'll start disking the north end. It's 420. We got a few hours daylight left. I don't know if we're gonna get it all done or not. We'll give it the old college try.
Okay, well, I've been recording for hours. And we still got a good little bit on this north end. I sent the drone up several times. You guys kind of can see the outline of it. Uh, I just had to stop and clean my windows because it's so dusty. I can't hardly see. We'll pick back up on this after we're done. If it ends up being dark tonight, uh, when we're done, then uh, we'll pick up this video tomorrow and I'll just kind of go over everything we did. So, hang in there. Okay, well, we kind of had some sort of weird epiphany. I'm disking all this. He's spreading seed. And then I'm running the disc over it again to cover it. Why can't we just spread the seed and then disc it? That'll save me from having, I mean, we're almost done, but that'll save me from having to disc over everything twice. I don't know, I had never done that before, but I don't know why it wouldn't work. So he spread on this field about three quarters of it, maybe a little more. So there's probably about 50 feet across the center up the whole way that is not uh, dissed up yet. So we're gonna go ahead and spread seed out on that and I'm starting over. So I guess we'll see how that turns out. If it turns out fine, then yeah, we can get by with just disking the one time, putting the seed down first. I don't know, we'll, we'll see if it works. In theory, it should. It, it's getting dissed in regardless, but that'll keep me from cutting everything up so bad, having to go over it twice. I don't know. Any of y'all ever put seat down and then disc it in? Or am I just now showing up late to the party? Is that what everyone does? Anyways, leave a comment, let me know. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that hurt. It's about 6.15 in the evening, so we got about 40 minutes of daylight left. I'll probably finish this up in the dark, so I think tomorrow we'll come back. I've still got a little spot to do back in the timber for the deer plot. That's gonna be a separate video. This video is gonna be long enough. I'm gonna try to cut out about as much as possible so it ain't extremely long but i've got oh, probably at least five six hours worth of footage today so <laughs> i know you guys don't want to watch anything that long so we'll see if we can't squeeze it down into 25 minutes 20 minutes that, that might be a stretch but i don't know 25 30 minutes we'll see anyways we'll pick this back up tomorrow all right everyone it is the next day i had to stop filming last night because i had to get this stuff done i was running out of time but we have all the pastures planted in wheat everything's dissed in so here in a few months uh, about april time it's all gonna look really really good and we'll be turning the cows in around that time and just rotating them out through the different pastures that we planted tiny did good bringing the drums down big tractor did good the big tractor liked to beat my guts out driving around through here it's still pretty rough in some spots out in these fields all this that you see out here used to look just like that every bit of this this was thick thick timber that pond wasn't there and all of this was thick timber. So we had to open this up to make more pasture. Several years ago, we lost a good bit of our pasture, so we needed more pasture for the cows. So we opened all this up. We ended up selling about half our herd just because we didn't have room for them. Hope some of you all found some of this informational. This is something that we do every year. I enjoy planting. The cows seem to like it. So I haven't filmed this before. I was kind of wishing I filmed it last year just because everything turned out real, real nice and looked good. So I figured I'd go ahead and film it this year. Hopefully we get some rain. There's not any rain in the forecast for at least the next seven days. So we'll see. But I know a few years ago, I planted and it was probably two, two and a half months before we got any rain and that wheat still came up just fine but i appreciate you taking time to watch the video if you enjoyed the video give the video a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already and we'll see you in the next one thanks